Hello YouTube, how are you doing? This is the second video I'm making for my new C-Sharp uh, series here. Uh, this one is going to be more uh, focused towards the planning of the game, the project that I'm going to do at the moment. It is a small project, it's only tic-tac-toe, so it's not like it has many facets to it. But I still think it's important to have a good planning and a structure and to know exactly where you're going. Uh, it's going to help me to focus my energies on one specific thing at a time instead of being spread out everywhere. So I'm going to do that with you now. I'm going to write down uh, what I want for uh, this project and it's also going to help me once it's done to see what I've accomplished compared to what I initially planned on doing and you know how I can improve this planning phase uh, in the future to make it better. Okay. So, I am doing a tic-tac-toe game, mm -hmm. and I would think the first thing I need to do is the UI, the UI, uh, which is the user interface, which is what you will see uh, when you're playing this game, basically. So I have multiple screens, I have the title screen, the welcome screen if you want, uh, I have the actual game screen, and then there's also the, uh, what's it called, the rematch screen if you want, uh, yeah. Um, at this point, there's no code involved, it's just placing elements in Udemy, and I'm not sure I'm going to do the game screen, so that's going to be the challenge for that area. This is, this is fun for me. Uh, then I want to link uh, the screens. So basically what I want to do is I want title to go to game, I want game to go to rematch, and from rematch, you need to be able to game or a title screen so if you don't want to play anymore then you can just say well screw it I don't want to play take me back to title screen then you can quit um, okay so that's and there will be some code involved in that to link them together which is fun for me what else do we need to do we need to start thinking about uh, the actual game so we're gonna do uh, two human players so basically it will wait for human input to do anything. What this means, uh, I need uh, X's and O's. I need, um, I need to be able to click and record the click. Uh, click and display. X or O, and I also need to have uh, the win uh, rule established, basically, so that when you are doing it, if you have three in a row, you win, and not just three randomly on the board. Um, I think that's it for that. What I want to do is add, a, uh, add an AI, so that if you're alone and you want to play, you can still play with the computer. And this AI will need rules as well. It needs to know where it can play so that it doesn't play over you. It needs to know, uh, can it block your win? It needs to know, can it win? So that's what the AI would do. And then just for the fun of it, I'm going to add a second AI. Because uh, they can play together, same set of rules. Uh, I'm thinking that maybe it'll be too quick for the human eye, so we'll see if uh, speed is okay. Um, and then, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I need to do some hard thinking on um, how I'm going to store the values, the X's and O's, and where they are. I'm thinking of doing <coughs> an array, a list, basically, of um, nine Spaces that will have uh, it will show if you have played or not. So I'm going to write this down: array of eight with x equals let's say one, o equals two, and nothing is either null or zero. This is something I gotta check. Uh, I don't know if in C sharp. If it initializes arrays with empty values or null values, so I'm gonna check it out. If it's a uh, null, then maybe my O's can be zeros. Anyway, uh, that's it for there. 
an array. Okay, what else can I do? Oh, that would be fun. Maybe a leaderboard so that you can see what you've done. Ooh, which would mean I would need to override the data for the board so the X's and O's are cleared every game, but the leaderboard would have to stay. This is interesting. This could be a good challenge for me. This is fun. Yeah. Um, and what else? What else? What else do we want? I think this pretty much sums it up. Uh, to get the result of X and O placements. Uh, okay. Uh, I think that sums it up. This is, uh, these are the seven steps I want to do. If you have any ideas to what I can add to this document or to this game or what is redundant or if you have a better way of doing this part, uh, storing the value and so that I can access it later on, let me know because I'm not sure. I, this will work, but it's probably not the most efficient way. But we'll see, we'll see. Maybe a double matrix. Uh, anyway, an array of arrays. <laughs> we'll see. So, um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see what keeps what is happening and how I'm recoding this thing, uh, subscribe and you'll see it. And like this video or don't. And leave me some, uh, some good criticism, some good ideas, some good input. I would like that a lot. Okay, bye.